Okay. So I heard you talk about skin. What's the effect yes. of skin on the human movement? And is there a way to train it? Sure. Uh, well, skin is often overlooked. And, you know, we at the Institute of Motion, we spend a lot of time looking at what the skin is, why it's there, right? How it functions or does even have a task in movement. And then, you know, how we train it. And the reason being is because, you know, nobody comes to the gym on a Monday morning and says, I want to train my skin today. <laughs> now, what, what's interesting is that people that do train and do exercise regularly, they seem to age better. What I mean by age better is people say, man, you look, you look good. You look healthy. You look younger, right? You seem to kind of push off the effects of aging, at least in the aesthetic look of it, right? Yeah. And there's a, there's a physiological reason why people who exercise seem to look younger than others. And one of the reasons is the skin is similar to the, the connective tissue underneath, the fibrous connective tissue, in that if you load it and if you put stress through it, you'll fortify collagen. And, and collagen is those kind of building blocks that we talked about before that keep things healthy and resilient. And so when we start to move our bodies around, the skin stretches. And once it stretches, we put lines of force through it. And tissue remodels along lines of stress. So the more varied our lines of stress can be through the skin, the more able we are, if we've got a good hydration, a good nutrition strategy, the more able we are to fortify the collagen within the skin. So I'm going to go back to another question you had. Well, why is skin even relevant in movement? Well, skin has a lot of elastin in it as well, and, and it has this elastic component. So if I grab my skin and let it go, it's going to bounce back. If you ask me to do this in 30 years from now, my skin, I might pinch and it might stay out there for a while. Because yeah. we've all had that idea of you know, pinching grandma or grandpa's skin and then letting it go, and it stays there for a while, and then it eventually goes back. Well, what they've lost that you know, a young person still has is elastin and collagen, all these fibers within it that keep it resilient. So if I stretch my skin, it stores potential elastic energy. Now think about this. Mother Nature is not so um, inefficient and ineffective that she wouldn't produce a skin, which, by the way, is our heaviest organ, And she wouldn't ask all the other systems to carry that skin around for a lifetime and have that skin have nothing to do with motion. I mean, she wouldn't be that stupid. So what Mother Nature does is say, okay, if your skin is your heaviest organ, we're going to create that skin to be elastic. So every time you stretch it, it's going to store potential energy and then it's going to recoil like an elastic band to propel us and help us move around. So it's not, again, it's, the skin is not the only stabilizing influence to the body, but it certainly is part of that conversation. It's in, it's in many cases a big part of the conversation. Because think about an individual who ages. Their skin gets saggy and they lose stability. That's not by accident. Now, that's not the only thing that reduces. Their muscle tone reduces and you know, atrophies and they lose some of the type 1 musculature that creates stability. So that has a role in it too, obviously. But you know, what we want to do is we want to take more of a global view of things and say, how does the body work as an aggregate? How does it work together? That's really where we kind of peer through the lens of function and, and the lens of analysis is, yes, let's analyze all the constituent parts, but we can only really understand how we move forward if we put everything back together again. Yeah. It's, like, it's like the car engine. You know, you can analyze your car engine all you want in, in pieces, but you're only going to understand how that car goes forward when you put all the things back together in the engine and say, oh, okay, I know how all these things interact now. Yeah. Right? Same thing with the body. 